of the forum so i'd like to tell you about the methodology of um, creating the tissue mattresses and tma in clinical histology uh, it gives us more opportunities and uh, uh, we uh, develop the predictive medicine we are implementing these types of uh, factors quite fast and we need to adopt methodological approaches that um, can give us the retrospective analysis of a large number of patients. Just a few historical f uh, facts. It was um, offered, it was uh, invented in 1986 to study different types of markers, and it was called uh, multi um, multi tumor uh, method, method and uh, from paraffin blocks with the, the researched materials uh, we uh, had a different um, block of um, this um, types of tumors uh, with mammals and uh, then we uh, put paraffin uh, there and um, the sections that we received they were colored and uh, analyzed according to the st standardized algorithm but there was an disadvantage of it it was difficult to define uh, which um, section belongs to which uh, patient but uh, the methodology was highly uh, praised and evaluated and it has been modified and uh, and um, in future, uh, after that, they used uh, their volumes because uh, um, tumor is the 3D structure, and there can be some distortions that do not enable you to see uh, the structure as it is. So they performed uh, their biopsy, and there was a disadvantage because it was very difficult uh, to find um, the tumor in the lower part of the cylinder and some of the material uh, d did not contain the tumor cells and after that uh, some specialists uh, uh, conducted uh, the new research and new matrices were developed in the axis of uh, X and Y and uh, they introduced the term uh, TMA. So this technology is about the following. Uh, so the signal uh, in paraffin uh, in the tissue segment, so from the donor histological block, uh, you take the material and then you put it into uh, the special recipient block. And there are two methods of um, gathering uh, these matrices, manual one and automated one. And the second one is a faster method and uh, uh, you can uh, um, accumulate and you can gather material in a fast way in our laboratory. Uh, we are using uh, the um, TMA Grandmaster together with the, the scanner of histological um, slides, panoramic, and the two major parts. Uh, you can see that on the slides and the drilling device uh, that pull, puts the cells together the hose in the recipient block and the second part um, it gathers the material in the donor block and then it puts into the cell of the recipient block. So they are different in terms of its uh, diameter and uh, they can be uh, 0 0.6 millimeters, 1, uh, 1.5 and 2 millimeters and in accordance with the, the selected diameter on digital copies uh, we um, select the special zones of uh, um, the similar uh, diameter and uh, you can see here different uh, uh, types of uh, points in different colors in red this is the zone of tumor in blue we see the invasive tumor and the green point is the for metastasis in the node and after all the medicine has been um, have been scanned and we have all the tools in place um, the um, 
empty blocks for mattresses and donor blocks are put into uh, their respective cells of the apparatus so the mattresses are created the following way you choose the template of a matrix and the program we position a donor block with a scanner with the special labels the image of the scan can be moved to one or the other side and you can rotate it up to the time when the images of the scan do not uh, coincide ideally after that you push the start button and then the matrix is formed that is how uh, we combine the picture for each donor block so you put together the matrix and uh, for each tissue sample you have an address in the recipient block in one of our work we set a task out of 600 donor blocks we had to form and create matrix matrices uh, as a result we got 28 matrices and uh, we performed the analysis that was not so expensive from the point of view of uh, the material costs and labor costs uh, the system of the creation of matrices is fully automated and the software allows you to form a large number of recipient uh, blocks in a very quick way uh, from uh, 50 to 720 zones of interest can be formed and it is integrated with all the other softwares all the information about recipients and donor blocks and also the address of histological materials uh, so the clinical data and all the other uh, data and color indications are stored in Excel database for uh, all the future analysis and the automated system of gathering materials can work with all the types of tissues but when you work with some dense uh, material like from pancreas uh, then you need a special way of um, gathering it, uh, gathering the samples Depending on the purpose, uh, we can use different types of uh, materials with different uh, diameters, like one, um, like 0 0.6 millimeters, and uh, you don't uh, have a very specific structure of tumor, but still you have a very accurate. Um, number of uh, cells to be studied carefully and um, if uh, you multiply and if you zoom like 10 times the diameter of one millimeter is an ideal one it gives you a picture of the histological structure of the tumor as for conclusions unlike the traditional analysis um, that are performed in ICC and IHC when you have to analyze hundreds of blocks of samples uh, here you have the opportunity of a simultaneous fish analysis ICC and IHC in just one sample that is uh, uh, taken from uh, the recipient block and it reduces uh, labor and material costs uh, one very important advantage of this technology is that the analysis is performed in um, similar conditions and TMA should become an integral part of everyday work and research and studies, we hope so. Thank you for your attention. <coughs> If you have any questions, uh, please ask one or two questions, please. So you gather all the materials in one block about all the particles. Uh, do I understand it right? So what is the probability of uh, uh, you losing information, losing some kind of fragment that can be in 
important, but it doesn't go into the matrix. No, this opinion is excluded because uh, preliminarily we scan the histological samples that have been taken from a specific donor block. So when you zoom it in, uh, we can evaluate all this section and uh, to point out the zones we are interested in and if it uh, a tumor has a heterogenic structure, we can specify all the parts and then the matrix will have all the structures. No, I mean that at the sampling uh, stage, so there is a chance of losing something. Well, the chance is always there and you can lose uh, something, of course, and we cannot guarantee that 100%, but uh, based on that uh, logic, uh, then uh, all uh, the types of uh, research um, can be uh, like um, can be outlawed and uh, if we uh, based on such a logic all the modern uh, detection techniques can be banned of course there are heterogenic structures and of course we are risking when you use biopsy from biopsy or from operation uh, material that is why we conduct the mapping at um, the early stage and then we uh, study what we study we don't take one part from the tumor at least we take about three pieces of course your question question is uh, a good one and um, quite logical one, but uh, working with a large volume of um, data starting from 100, 300, in this case 600 samples, we hope that such science as statistics will help us to remove all deviation and uh, to have all the practical lessons that uh, we could uh, recommend in future. Thank you very much. So just continuing with this topic, after the break we will have two reports where we will demonstrate our success and our uh, opportunities with using this type of system. 